finally made it to Scotland? How does it feel? To yeah, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a long time. I've always wanted to manage up here, and uh, you know, I've got a place at Dunoon. I've always had a place down there, and my club's Greenock Morton. You know, I've got bricks there with the family's name on. There we were at Greenock. So I've always liked enjoying going to watch a game there, and. Um, it just come out the, I mean, it not come out the blue, but it was just something, you know, when you get to my age, it's, uh, you know, it's, you think twice and I've had that many retirements, I'm to, so it's, uh, but it, it just, I just think, you know, when I spoke to Dave, um, Cormac and, and Alan, it, it just seemed the right thing to do, really. They, they gives them a little bit of time to take the time looking for the right one, for the manager, that's going to take the club forward. And also, as I said to him, you know, let's have a little bit of fun between now and the end of the season as well. You know, it's uh, I like to put smiles on people's faces. And the Aberdeen fans, I've always thought, I applied for the job once, many years ago, and I never even got a reply, which I felt let down, really, if I'm honest, at the time. Are you with me? And I, I used that a little bit to motivate myself, because um, I thought, right, I'll show them what they're missing. You know, and um, I managed to get promotion that following year. So it was... Uh, um, it's one of those things that it's you know it's a big club, uh, and the kind of fans that they've got, I, it, I relate to that type of fans. You know, when you look at QPR and Crystal Palace, the fans are you know, um, if I say hostile, I don't mean that in a nasty way, but it, it's lovely to get fans behind the team and and um, and supporting the team. And uh, you know, one a uh, one club city, it's it's a real good challenge. And uh, I know it's a long way. You know, Sharon, my wife, said, Aberdeen. <laughs> you know, but it's not for the money. I mean, I've, I've had some good offers in the last six, eight weeks. And, um, you know, it's it's just, uh, I'd like to have a go at um, in this league. And I'd like to have a go with a, with a club like this. Yes, I can't change the squad uh, because, you know, the window's closed now. Um, it probably is a little bit light in certain areas, um, but I'm not going to worry about that. It's just do what I can do with what we've got and, and like I say, try and enjoy it. And I was going to start next week, but, you know, the, the, the lure of taking over for a game like tomorrow night is, you know, is too good, really. And I've always had good fun with, you know, when I worked on TalkSport with Alan Brazil and Alan, Alan McCoy is very nice. I, I'm a good fan of Ali. So we have always taken the side of that, you know, because of Ali, Alan Brazil, really, with his Celtic connections in there. But, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be hoping that we can get a victory tomorrow night, as always. And, you know, I've always, once I'm in a, a club, I'm in there, lock, stock and barrel, and, and we, you know, move on. Over that Huddersfield, people are saying, this is the age we need to save them. This is a bit different. Is it more looking up rather than what's behind you, kicking on now? Um, I mean, the thing is... Um, I don't, I don't worry about, when I do take over, there's a reason when, I mean, I never take over anything that's flying or taking, you know, top of the league. And, um, and it's, it's, a, it's a club that there, are, there is ambitions. Uh, and all I can do is my best, I can't guarantee anything. Um, but I, I want to pit my wits against the teams that we come up against between now and the end of the season. And there's a lot to play for, league-wise, cup-wise. I'd like to win a cup, I've not won a cup. Got to the semi-finals a couple of times and got done with referees, but we're not going to that. Eh? Um, so it's uh, you know it's a it's, it's a good challenge for me. You know, I think it's um, you know I used to call it a bunch of nettles. You know, that's that type of thing here. I think you know I think Aberdeen is an ideal place for me. Neil, have you been have you been closely following Scottish football? You, you've talked about your kind of links to Scotland, but is it have you? been following it from afar during your, your career and what do you make of it because sometimes in England we get the feeling up here that Scottish football is kind of looked down upon a little bit I think you'll always get that won't you with English we're, we're, we're a bit arrogant aren't we when he looks to that I mean I, I don't think there's anything better than we love coming up to Scotland Sharon and the two kids and um, I just wish I played golf but my son does so I'm going to caddy for him when he comes up and uh, it, it's, um, I mean, it's no good, you know, Celtic and, and, and Rangers have, have really done really well, hasn't it? But 
I think it's nice to be an underdog and trying to um, um, come up against these teams and try and you know do well. I mean, obviously, I'm only having one session today. If we get battered tomorrow, it's Peter's fault. All right. If we do well, it's I'm very influential on the on the result. Okay. So keep that up your sleeve, lads, will you? The one thing, Neil, um, that I think you would have seen from from the weekend's game, if you've managed to look back against Celtic, is what Alex Ferguson did. Was he didn't take any nonsense and kind of changed the mentality of the provincial clubs, if you like, outside of the old firm, <coughs> and got his team going to Glasgow to win. Aberdeen have proved that they can do that already this season. So you've got the building blocks here. Yeah, I think I, I think you'd be surprised. In, you know, I get called a dinosaur and all sorts of names, uh, some I can't repeat. Um, but in, in my career as a football manager, from start to finish, um, nothing's changed in the fact that to be successful in management, 90 to 95 percent is man management. You can have all the diplomas and all the coaching statistics and everything, you know. And uh, and I, you know, you got you want to try and win games, and and so. I don't think anything's changed from when I first started to now. Yeah, you've had to move on. You know, Wenger changed the whole concept really by bringing all the nutritions and the IT people and you know, you name it. And a lot of clubs are driven with stats now, aren't they? Etc. Um, I like judging things with my own eyes and and having a look. So I, I'm really. I know it sounds silly, but at my age, but I'm quite excited. That's how I am. That's why I still, I do. You know, come back and uh, why why I get to grips with things. I like, like I say, I like making people smile. I, I like um, going into a club and, and, and meeting everybody, really. I like, I like all the staff from everywhere, you know. The cooks, I've just met the cooks, they're very important to me, because I'm, you know, I'm quite hungry at times. Um, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pleasing thing. And I think it's, it, it's good, we can have a, you know, we can have a couple of months now, two or three months, and, you know, there's no, See, so the only pressure on me is I want to win. Are you with me? Uh, I don't. Um, I can't see me getting the sack in in four months. You know, so I've got to try and enjoy it and try and make the fans enjoy it. And I think, you know, um, looking at the fans' comments, you know, there's fifty percent want me and fifty percent don't. So I've got to convince the other, convince the other fifty percent to enjoy themselves while I'm here. You don't hold any grudges, clearly, after that rejection um, that you're here now. Um, You've obviously got a good intellect. You're very charismatic. This room hasn't been as busy for a manager hire in in a long time. It's just about winning football games, isn't it? It is. That's all about it. it it's the uh, you know, there'll be players that have been bombed out or not really getting games who will come into the fore. There'll be there'll be all sorts of things. Uh, you know, um, the fans will see my team selections and say you don't know what he's doing, and you know it's. Uh, but it's just, you know, you get feelings. I, I got a good feeling about here. Um, I mean, only in the last couple of weeks, I could have got two or three times my salary that I'm on here um, in England. Um, but it's not it's not the salary now. You, you know, you don't come back at my age unless there's something that ticks the boxes. And, you know, I've always, you know, um, we play Hibernian shortly and Nick Montgomery, one of my young lads. Um, you know, there's all sorts of things. Uh, I nearly got the Hearts job once, and they give it some some bloke from bloody Latvia or somewhere. I don't know where he come from, so that were a bit of an insult, wasn't it? And uh, you know, so I've had a, I've had opportunities, you know. And as, as I say, I think uh, I think uh, Imre's doing a good job at, at, at Greenock Morton as well. So it's uh, it's a good, you know. I, I, I really enjoy Scotland. Final one from you: Is there anyone you signed it out independently uh, before you came up here, or did you just go with your gut? I always go with my gut, yeah, always. No, I didn't ring anybody, and I kept it. And I have to apologise to, you know, there's a lot of Scottish journalists that I've spoke to over the years, and I've got their names, and I've been seeing them flash up on my phone, and I've had to ignore it because I thought if I speak to one, it's not fair on the others. And uh, you know, I have got good contact, so I will speak to everybody now. Um, but it was just, you know, it's, it's it was one of them things. I wanted to keep it to myself because you know there were other people involved and what have you and. I wanted to make sure I didn't want to come unless, unless the Dave really wanted me. Are you with me? Yeah. And I actually enjoy talking to. I know it sounds silly, but the owner is important. You know, when I get on with an owner, I usually do well. Um, the times I've got the sack, I've you know we've had bad times with owners, 
which I've had a few over the years, but I've had a few good ones as well, you know. So it's, um, I'm, I'm, I am really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm excited, and uh, yes, it's, a, it's only a few months, but you know, we, we, you couldn't wish for a, a, a tougher start than this. You know, what do you hope to achieve here? What would make this spell a success for you between now and the um, finishing as high as we can and winning the cup. I don't think there's anything else, is there? No, that, that's a dream of yours, as you mentioned earlier, still yet to win a trophy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, uh, you know, somebody was uh, asked me today, uh, um, which is my favourite, but I don't have a favourite promotion. You know, I've had four playoff final wins at Wembley, and you know, they're fantastic days for the fans and. The promotions that I've had, they still have reunions, and when I see the lads at these reunions, you'd think we'd never been away, you know. They're the type of players I love. If the players give me everything here, I've got goose pimples now, I tell you, but if the players give me everything, then I'll, I'll, I'll man their corner. Uh, I'll be disappointed if people pull out of tackles or headers or they don't stop with the men on, you know, centre halves try dribbling it when they shouldn't do. You know, there's so many little habits that, uh, 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 you know, but, you know, the days have changed where you can go off like I used to do. Um, you know, so I have to, you know, you, you've got to tr try and do it in a right way. But I want to, I want to, the, I want the pride back in. I think Aberdeen's one of them clubs, mate, that, you know, you, you, you kiss the badge and you mean it really, not, you know, you watch the Premier League and they kiss the badge and they're off next week. You know, they'll never have a reunion or out like that then. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an opportunity. Will this be the first time your manager club that plays in a league with AR? Have you experienced that before? Um, no, I don't think I have. No. I've been done with VAR, without VAR a couple of times. I got relegated at Cardiff for Chelsea scoring offside goal, two yards offside. Are you with me? And I, th I was watching the game... Um, was it on Saturday where I thought I, th I thought their lad should have had a couple of bookings? I thought he should have got a red card, really. If I'd have been on VAR, it would have been a second book in that. But, you know, sometimes you just got to accept in, in, in these type of games that, you know, you, you don't always get the rub of the green in that. Yeah, the club have said they're going to conduct a, a wide-ranging search for, sorry, kind of overall review of the, the footballing department. Yeah, are you going to be involved in that process? I hope not. No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I've got enough to do without that. What about the Listen, I don't know. I, I think I've just come to try and take a little bit of pressure off Dave and Alan. Are you with me? Alan's been after me. Alan asked me to take over at Motherwell years ago. Are you with me? And he was really pers persistent. And um, but I, I had a really good job offer at the time, and I couldn't. So I have, you know, I've always been in touch, and I'd like to, I'd like to let those two enjoy a spell if I'm honest and whilst they're looking for a very important position and if they wanted to ask me questions yeah great you know but you know I said the same when I left Huddersfield if you want to ask me questions but they pick their own and I think he's gone now isn't he yeah. Neil you're obviously following in the footsteps of Sir Alex Ferguson I mean, a man you know well has he, has he dropped you a message at all? No not yet no I, we're not really on Christmas card list <laughs> if I'm honest. But well, I don't think we should go into that because he's a legend up here, isn't he? So, uh, no, I don't think I ever, uh, since the Tevez situation, I don't think I've ever spoke to Alex since. Neil, what, what are your early impressions of, of the club and its potential? Well, the potential's anything. I think Aberdeen. Yes, I know, I know money's vital, but I don't think any of my promotions or successors has been down to money. I don't think I've ever had a team that's got the best wage bill in the league. You know, usually they're in the bottom half of the, of, the, of the financial situations. But it's amazing what you can do with a group of lads if they believe and they commit themselves to what you want to do. And like I say, you know, I, I like to think that that's my strength, getting the best out of the players that are here. Yes, I don't know enough. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a busy day tomorrow and uh, I'm only going to have this session today. But even today, I, I want to try and put one or two ideas in, in the mind. But, you know, as you saw on Saturday, um, you know, Celtic could have scored two or three in that first half, couldn't they? And it could have been a different... That's football. You need a bit of luck as well. And so I'm hoping we get a little bit more luck tomorrow and we can give them a good game, really.